Welcome everyone to our next virtual science short with the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. My name is Selena and today we are going to be making our own shrinky dinks with stuff that we find at home. For our supplies today, you're going to need to dig through your recycling bin a little bit. We have lots of different types of plastics that we can find in there. I have this kind of container and I have this one over here to kind of look at. And what we're going to be looking at is the number that's on that container. In order to make our shrinky dinks, we actually have to use it out of a type of plastic that doesn't recycle very well. So it's a good way to kind of reuse some of the things that we might have. This guy is a recycle number one, so there's like a little number one on the bottom of here. And these recycle really easily, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna keep this one in my recycling bin. But this one, on the other hand, is a number six plastic. And these plastics don't break down so easily in the recycling containers. Um, and so unfortunately, a lot of the times they just get thrown away because they're too difficult to recycle. So instead, we're gonna make a fun project out of it. For our supplies for this project, we're gonna need that number six plastic that you found from your recycling bin. You're also going to need a couple of permanent markers. You're gonna need an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors, whichever one you prefer or have at home. I'm also going to be using a cutting board. Um, since I'll be using my X-Acto knife, it's easier to use a cutting surface with that as well. And some sort of oven source, and so you can heat up your shrinky dink and to actually shrink that plastic down. So this plastic, this number six plastic, the reason why it makes such a great art project for us today in making our shrinky dinks when it does get heated up to those really high temperatures, around 350 degrees, which is what we'll turn our oven to here in just a moment, it will actually condense and it will shrink. The plastic molecules will start to come together. It will condense up really tightly. It will actually thicken the plastic, but also shrink the plastic to make a cool little trinket for you guys to keep at home. Okay, so to start out our project, we want a flat surface. We don't want to put this whole container with all the bumpy edges and the sides to it into our oven because it'll shrink up kind of funky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut out the center of my plastic. And we wanna do this very, very carefully. That's why I have my cutting board underneath it here. I'm going to cut out a flat surface. So now for our next part, we're gonna go ahead and decorate our trinket date. This is where your permanent markers are going to come into play. Um, so have fun with this, you can decorate it however you want. If there's a picture that you wanna to trace to color as well, you can definitely do that. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate mine here. And the bigger the lettering, the better. You wanna take up as much space as you can because like I said, this is going to shrink down and be really, really small once we are done with this. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to see. All right, so we are going to line a cookie sheet with either tin foil or uh, parchment paper, whichever one you guys have at home. This is just so it doesn't stick to your cookie sheet while you're in there. And then you're gonna heat your oven up. I'm gonna use my toaster oven here to 350. You can either use a regular oven or a toaster oven. We're gonna heat it up to 350. Once it's ready and warmed up, we'll be ready to shrink our plastic. All right, so my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm going to safely go ahead and put my shrinky dink plastic on top of my foil so it's nice and safe. And carefully, I'm going to put my tray inside of my toaster oven. This is gonna happen very quickly. So stay tuned for this plastic heat up. to completely flatten back out. It might take a little bit of time. Some of them have gone quicker than others. So 
So if it does start to curl, try to have faith in it. Sometimes it does get stuck to itself, um, but go ahead and wait till it completely flattens and is no longer kind of moving around, which it looks like this should be almost there. I'm gonna give it here just another second. We're gonna go ahead and take out our whole tray from our shrinky dinks very carefully here. I'm gonna place it on the counter to cool off, and once we do, you'll have your own shrinky dink. After about two minutes in our toaster oven, our plastic condensed and started to shrink, creating our awesome shrinky dink. I went ahead and took mine out of the oven, it's nice and cool. You guys wanna come check it out. So here we have our final product here. You can see it's definitely a lot smaller than it was before, a lot thicker, a lot sturdier. I cannot bend it anymore. It's a fun little project. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our virtual science short. You get a chance to make one of these at home. Make sure you drop a picture of that down in the comments and below so we can all check out your cool creations that you've made. Thanks again for joining and I hope you guys have a science cool day. Hey everybody, Christian here. I want to just thank you for watching our content. If you enjoyed, please make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, as you guys know, we are going through some very tough times and our hearts at the Science Center goes out to everyone that's been affected by this coronavirus outbreak. And as most of you also know, we are a nonprofit organization. We rely very heavily on live programs as well as admissions in order to keep the Science Center lights on. So because we're not open, we do need your help. If you enjoyed our content, please consider hitting that donate button down below and giving anything you can. One dollar, five dollars, any amount will help us continue our mission to open every mind to science.